Hello everyone, we are on chapter 8 problems. We are going to continue with question 12. This is video part 2. Okay, let's get started. Given the table below, as the number of workers increase from 10 to 15 output per worker, what happens to the output per worker? So we are talking about this is labor total product q output per worker is average product and marginal product is the additional output increased by the last worker so we're looking at 10 to 15 therefore we need to actually calculate the fill out this entire table okay so i'm going to grab calculators boom All right let's leave this calculator right here let's make it a little bit different size okay this is cool all right so average product of five people is 28 so therefore we find the total product on an average five people product each 28 times five people are working 140 will be my total product what's the marginal product it's going to be change in quantity divided by change in labor so we have right zero workers zero total product zero to five it's labor change zero to 140 quantity change so 140 minus zero 140 minus zero 140 divided by five minus zero is five so 140 divided by five uh, marginal product is 28 as well okay so next line marginal product of the next 10 worker is 30 each okay so how does it work this is how it's going to work marginal product of 10 people so it's from 10 minus 5 change in labor is 5 and this is given 30 um, right 30 units so this is a change in quantity okay so 30 times 5 this is 5 150 so it's q2 minus q1 what is q2 this is q2 minus q1 so the change in q2 minus q1 is 150 okay so marginal product increase of those five people is 150 so we're going to do 140 plus 150 290 here okay next step find the average product of 10 people so 290 divided by 10 the number of labor 29 next step is basically it's asking us workers increase from 10 to 15 output per worker so average product okay we're almost there 420 quantity 420 divided by labor 15 that's going to be average product so 420 divided by 15 28 so what happens it's asking us number of workers increase from 10 to 15 output per worker is going to 10 to 15 output per worker was 29 it goes down to 28 so the correct answer is decreases from 29 to 28 next question this is a little different given the table uh, below what's the total fixed cost when 400 units of output are produced okay cool so we're going to talk about a little bit cost total cost total fixed cost total variable cost so total cost is total fixed cost plus total variable cost total fi fixed cost is always um constant and if I know total cost is 560, total variable cost is 60, then total fixed cost is a difference, right? 560 minus 60, $500. And total fixed cost never changes by definition. It is fixed. Okay. Um, so the question here, what's the total fixed cost when 400 units of output are produced? It's always going to be fixed at 500 and for the rest of the table you can fill out this table just like we learned before and average fixed cost average fixed cost i'm going to just write down formula total fixed cost divided by quantity quantity is this output total cost average variable cost is total variable cost this column divided by quantity this column right 
average total cost that is average total cost total cost this column divided by quantity and marginal cost very similar change in total cost this column change in this divide by change in quantity total cost final minus initial divided by final quantity initial quantity okay that was question 13 we're also going to work on question 14 right um, and also let's work on 15 here let's see suppose that the firm's only variable input is labor when 50 workers are employed I just love to write down everything average product is 50 units marginal product is 75 units the wage rate is $80 and the total cost of uh, fixed input total fixed cost is five hundred dollars okay all the information we're given it's asking us what's the average variable cost so look i am going to talk about these two formulas that we studied in this chapter so this is uh, in part five of chapter eight okay relations between short run cost and production so this relationship these two formulas are really important to remember average variable cost is wage divided by average product marg uh, short term marginal cost is wage divided by marginal product so average variable cost is wage divided by average product right and marginal cost is wage divided by marginal product of labor so what's the wage rate eighty dollars what's the average product 50 80 divided 50 is going to be 80 divide by 50 is going to be 1.6 dollars okay so average variable cost of when you hire 50 workers is going to be 1.6 dollars question 15 answer asks you what's the marginal cost that's cool because we've been working on this wage rate 80 dollars divided by marginal product which is 75 so 80 divided by 75 80 divided by 75 it's 1.1.06 1. dollars and I don't see the answer so none of the above okay in the next part we're going to work on question 17 18 and 19 see you then